NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the San Francisco 49ers. They were Super Bowl opponents twice in the 80s, and they're back at it here. The Bengals and Niners are underway. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Here we go, here we go. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Quickly to the air is Burrow. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And so much for a great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here into the hands of Boyd. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 34. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. On third down, Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 31-yard line. Burrow to his own LSU teammate Chase for a Bengal first. They'll look to throw here. And down. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. 11, Thomas. 12, 12, 12. Another try after the first down sack. Burrow. That is taken in by Hurst. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Hayden Hurst, 41 yards. And the Bengals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Evan McPherson for the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. Makes the score Bengals 7 After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And some room to roam now. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. 
A give running left. It's McCaffrey. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Purdy. And that is incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. On fourth down, here's Purdy. Touchdown! George Kittle, 28 yards. And the Niners are able to match the opening drive touchdown against him with one of their own. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The go. Bengals drive about to get going. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. You're looking there at a defensive back just maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Eluding the pressure, under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Purdy, and he's going to get this down near the 25. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And able to hold it in is Kittle. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. McCaffrey on the toss right. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Purdy. That's Samuel caught left side. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Niners have moved out in front. Gold able to tack on the extra point, And that makes the score 14 to 7. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more go, momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Tyler Boyd, he's going to go. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. 
But for as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Purdy to throw it on first down. Looking deep for Jennings. And got his man complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. On first down, Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a... The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. They're looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Third and long that time. He was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. Airing one out for Boyd. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, that's a bit of banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today. But they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Burroughs throw here on target to Hurst. And he'll be up in it at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they go play action now. Burrow. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders in every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. This is third and one, very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. Again, it's Burrow. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. T. Higgins, 43 yards. And the Bengals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's Purdy on first and ten. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They go play action here. Purdy taking a shot for Samuel. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Debo Samuel in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Gold with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fields the squid kick right around the 30. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. Well, that return gives them a golden opportunity one, to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? The Bengals drive about to get going. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Oh, looting the tackle. Debo Samuel, touchdown 49ers. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. Yeah, and this just looked like a simple, ordinary play to start, but boy, did things change. Once he got free, it was off to the races, and once he hit high gear, there's absolutely no one who was going to stop him. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. The Bengals drive about to get going. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase, 74 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are all tied at 28. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? 
tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they will finally get to him down at the Bengals, 33. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Throwing on second and eight. Purdy, he'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And the Niners are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. McCaffrey is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And he's not going too far. In fact, stopped dead in his tracks at the three. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Purdy. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jerome Jennings from three yards out as they have taken the lead. Gold with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. And that's why you have your hand steam out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an outside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Here we go, here we so go. they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. There he goes, right side. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Purdy looking to throw. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Jerome Jennings, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, Points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. 
Three quarters have come and gone. On one, ready? On first and ten, Joe Burrow. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This goes out wide for Mixon. He'll get it inside the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To the air again, Burrow. He'll drop this one down to Dixon. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Mixon will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. They will throw on first down with Burrow. This is caught. It's Boyd. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. They'll give it to Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. 
Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And able to get this out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Here's Purden finding Samuel. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. And they get the timeout called here. It comes with one second remaining on the clock. So now it'll all come down to Robbie Gold. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And this is good. Robbie Gold knocks it through in a pressure spot. And Union Street will be happy tonight. The 49ers have won it. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The